In this video, we're going to dive into how to use Zoom to get a high quality video podcast. We'll dive into the equipment that I'm using right now, the settings you need to have in place, and everything you need to go through each time before you record a podcast episode on Zoom. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Podcast School. I'm Ryan Helms, and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. There's a red button down below. I would love it if you click that, hit the notification bell, get notified each time we release new videos here on Podcast School. Uh, I am the co-founder of Legacy Podcasting and Melville.app, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can create high-quality video podcasts via Zoom and put your message out into the world or reach more ears. So let's dive into that. All right, so the first thing you'll obviously need to do is get Zoom. If you don't already have it, you can go download it for Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever you have at zoom.us. So head over there, download that. If you don't already have it, pause this video and come back. But if you do, let's go ahead and hop into the things that you need to do. So first thing we're going to do once we have it pulled up, and uh, one thing you'll note is if you're on the web app, that it's going to look different than this. So download the Zoom app for your computer and it will look exactly like this and it'll be more stable. I, I don't recommend recording through Chrome and things like that for your actual interview. So let's head over. And if we look in the top right, uh, we have a little gear. Obviously, that is our settings. So we're going to click on that. And on here, there's a couple things that we'll need to go through to make sure that you have in place before you can start recording. So the first one is we want to go down to a video. So on mine, it says EOS webcam utility beta here. Uh, that is because I'm using a Canon M50 to record what you see on the screen here. There'll be a link for that down in the description section below. Along with this software, the EOS webcam utility that I am using to make all this happen. So obviously you don't see it here because I have the connection uh, removed so that I can use just the, the camera function and record directly on the camera. But if I was doing a zoom or something like that, what you'll see at the end of this video, uh, I will have the camera functioning as a webcam and it will look just as crystal clear as it does right now. So you would want to make sure your uh, EOS webcam utility is selected. If you're using a lower quality like, I don't know, a Logitech C920 or something, uh, you would want to select that here. But if you want the best possible quality, again, link in the description, the Canon M50. You want to make sure enable HD is checked and touch up my appearance is checked. Touch up my appearance is optional. Uh, it's kind of like puts a little makeup on you, so to speak. Uh, it doesn't look horrible. I haven't seen it really mess up the video quality too bad, but it, it's not going to really matter one way or the other. All right. In the audio section, the only thing that I really need you to do here is one, make sure that your proper microphone is selected. In this case, I have a, a scarlet interface, which is what you see here. Uh, so you won't actually see the mic itself if you have a XLR mic with an interface like I do. So, and this is the Rode Procaster, by the way, uh, link in the description if you want to check that out as well. Uh, and the thing I want you to do here is uncheck automatically adjust volume. So we don't want this on because what we've seen in the past is Sometimes uh, Zoom will uh, turn it all the way up, turn it not all the way up, but turn it up, turn it down, and it can really either distort or make your volume too low. So we like to have that off. And in my case, use the interface to adjust that. Or if uh, we just have it set here, just have it set in a specific place that produces good quality. And you can see uh, right now, this little input level is jumping up. We just want to make sure it's not hitting the top here. Uh, and it's not, so we're good to go. This is a good level for me and where I have the gain at on my interface. So again, if you don't have an interface, that's fine. Just make sure that this is not jumping up and hitting the top section here. All right, moving on. The next thing that we need to do is we need to go down to the recording section here. And what we do here is we actually want to make sure record a separate audio file for each participant who speaks is checked. So this is very important. This is definitely something you want to have done. And why would you want to do this? Well, if you are recording an interview and let's say your guest is a little bit further away from the mic and their volume is a little bit lower, what having the files on two separate tracks will allow you to do is it'll allow you to level those out in post-production. So uh, that way they won't sound off, right, and ruin the listening experience. This will allow each audio track to download separately and you'll have both of them on your side. So that is the settings that I want you to go through Zoom 
zoom and update. Again, you can do this on the web version as well. It's going to look a little bit different than if you did it through the app like I just did here, but know that it's pretty much the same. All right, now for the equipment. So if you want really high quality video, then using something like a webcam, even though they say HD, it's not going to give you really high quality video like you're seeing here. So I'm using the Canon M50. I'll put a link in the description section below for that. It has a nice flip out camera. So if I look over here, I can actually see myself on the camera right now. Um, but it is a great entry level camera. It uses a USB to micro USB to act as a webcam for your computer. And then you download that Canon uh, EOS webcam utility software. You can just Google that and I'll have a link also in the description section for that to enable your camera to function as a webcam, which is what you would want if you're recording an interview through Zoom. You would want Zoom to use the DSLR camera versus your laptop camera or a webcam. Secondly, and a good camera is only as good as the lighting around it. So uh, I'll put a image here on the screen to show you the uh, lights that I use that I personally use right now. I've got one uh, right here and I've got one right here. This one actually is not on because I have some natural light coming in uh, from this side, but I do have a light which is right over here. Um, and uh, you can go ahead and pick those up if you want. Super cheap, not expensive at all. Uh, you can adjust them. You can get them however you want, um, up and down. You can move them all around. For me, they've been pretty good so far. They also can run on battery as well. I keep mine plugged in, but they could run on battery. So lighting is also super important. Um, you could also get like a box light, which is probably what I'll be getting eventually. But for now, these do the job. And lastly, obviously, if you want, if you're doing a podcast, you want good quality audio. Um, so I, if you're just starting out, you might want to check out something like the ATR 2100, Samson uh, Q2U, um, Shure SM58. Those are some really good starter mics. Uh, I have right here, this is a Rode a Procaster connected into a Scarlett Focusrite 2i2. Um, the 2i2 just means it has two inputs to it. So I could actually have another mic connected into this as well. They have others that hold four mics, et cetera. Uh, but that is what I'm using right now. That is this complete setup that you see and hear right now. So all in, everything. So the camera you'll see is uh, 500 bucks. The lights are like 50 bucks. The mic and the interface is probably 300. Uh, so you could be all in with this for less than a thousand bucks for this setup. Again, if you're just doing meetings on Zoom, maybe not worth it, but if you are taking uh, pleasure in having high quality podcast content, this might be something that you want to consider. All right, so you've got everything set up and you're actually ready to do a podcast interview. You can either schedule it or you can have a recurring link. And first I'll show you how to schedule one. So again, on the main Zoom app window, you'll just click schedule. You can select the date and time here. So I'm just gonna bump it into the future. We'll say at 12 o'clock today. And you can say, do you want it to automatically generate a link or use your personal meeting ID? Uh, and I'll get to this in a second. So you could update any of these settings that you want, but I'm just going to do schedule. There's some advanced stuff here, uh, but I'll say schedule. Cool. So it's going to ask what account do I want to use? Allow. Perfect. So this is what it will bring up. And then you could add your guest here and then click save, and then we'll be on both of your calendars directly right here through the uh, Zoom app. Now, what I do is I typically have a recurring meeting. Well, actually, I don't use Zoom anymore. I use uh, Squadcast because I don't do a lot of video. I do video for YouTube, but I don't do use a lot of video for my podcast. Um, so I use Squadcast for that. If you want to check that out, link down below. Amazing quality audio if you use that. Eventually, they're going to have video as well. So depending on when you watch this, if it's like five, six months, a year from now, uh, go check out Squadcast because they're going to have HD video recording as well, which then there really won't be a point to use Zoom. So what I do when I would use Zoom for a podcast interview is I do a recurring meeting and I always just have the same personal meeting ID. And it is this here. So I can uh, copy invitation. And I actually have a automation set up with uh, Zapier. I'll do a different video on that. But essentially, uh, every time somebody books through a Calendly link that I have, so Calendly is a, a booking software, um, it gives them this link and it's always the same link. Uh, so I don't always have to go in and figure out like, all right, where is this meeting actually taking place? So it'll, uh, it'll be this link here. 
So it's this link. It's always in that uh, calendar, automatic calendar uh, request that will go out to everybody. Uh, this will be on my calendar. This will be on their calendar. And when time comes, we just find the meeting on Google Calendar. Click this. It opens up very simple and easy to use for everybody. So to recap, you have two options. You can schedule a meeting directly here in Zoom, or you can set up some type of automation, send them to a Calendly booking page or any other the countless scheduling apps and just have this one link that you use for all your podcast interviews right in here. So when your interview is done, obviously you want to make sure you hit record uh, and make sure that your microphone and camera are selected. This is actually a big one. Uh, I should have mentioned this earlier, but before you hit record, make sure that your mic and your camera are selected. So what I mean here is uh, you want to make sure that your microphone it says whatever mic you want to use. So in this case, the Scarlett 2i2. And I would want to make sure that my camera is the EOS webcam utility, which again is not working right now only because I am uh, doing a screen share recording this video directly onto the camera. But here in a second, I'm going to show you what that would look like if we get somebody on here and actually record an interview. So those are the things that you want to consider before you do your podcast, your video podcast interview on Zoom. So with that said, uh, we covered how to set it up, the equipment that you can use, the things to consider before getting started. And also, uh, if you're only doing audio, then probably use something like Squadcast. Links for everything I've talked about down below. Now let's head over and let's demonstrate how this could work uh, with actually setting up an interview and what it would sound like, what it would look like, all that good stuff. So let's head over there now. What's up, guys? So, okay, now we are in Zoom. We are recording a uh, meeting directly here in Zoom. The camera, the M50, like I mentioned, it's hooked up with a USB to micro USB and is acting as my webcam right now. So there it is. And I am on here with Daxi, my business partner in Legacy Podcasting. So Daxi, why don't you just tell people really quick so we can test this out, uh, who you are and what we do in Legacy Podcasting. Yeah, it's been probably it's close to two years now. We've, we've been running things and we've grown pretty fast. So yeah, cool. Awesome, guys. So this is how you can use the uh, setup that I've mentioned here in this uh, video here, the Canon M50, the lights, the mic, et cetera, to get a high quality of video podcast through Zoom. And like I mentioned, if you're not doing video, you might want to use something like Squadcast and everything that I have talked about so far, links down in the description section below.